Shadow Judgment. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Shadow Judgment. We're going to find out who we are reading for next. We got air and earth left. And we're going to see who is who. Water signs, I guess, are having a tower moment kind of week. It's like, uh, I think fire signs are dealing with temptations of some sort or just a lack of strength somewhere. Ooh, separations and not communicating or separating from people. Who is reading for that? That's another one. That's another one. I guess Earth? Earth, you're separating. <coughs> I wouldn't say from a person. I'd say more like a community or some shit. But it could be a person. It could be Sagittarius. Alright, Taurus, this is for you. Earth signs, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Check your charts, y'all. If this resonates with you a good deal, if not, don't worry about it. It's just a card game after all. Someone is being a dick and being petty in fights, Taurus. Oh yeah, this is for the week of the 19th to the 26th. Someone's being a dick for reals. Like, full on, like, this is my house. You know? They'll start fights, but they really don't start them verbally. Or they won't try to fight. They keep trying it loud. Hmm. What are you dealing with, Taurus? Like, this is like, hmm, there's Virgo. I think you're looking over at this King of Cups, right? Who's all sorts of petty. Because he's got pettiness behind him. Yeah, yeah, I, I, uh, this is you over here. Definitely you. You're dealing with this cat. Who's acting like he's so humble and meek. Like he's dead. What the hell? Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Yeah, okay. Taurus, yours is a fucking easy read, okay? Whoever this person is, you aren't even trying to engage them. You're looking over them like, you know, you're mad that they um, came into your rule, insulted your shit. Like, this is my fucking house. How dare you? Always starting shit with you, right? But they always keep their back turned. They always act like, you know, oh, there's something wrong with me. I need to rest. Like, they're dead or something, right? Like, totally understand how emotions work, but they totally have their back to you. It's not like they don't care, but they don't care enough right now you're over here as the king of wands and you do have control but it's like you try to make your way over there and it's like try to sneak something in but it's like every time this person just starts their battles so it's like you know what fuck it i'm gonna go somewhere where i can have fun in the center here, it's like, you want to go in and, like, confront this dude, but it's like, you looked inside and went, you know, I'm just gonna fuck myself over. That's not good for me. So then you went to go party, and your counterpart over here, which is this person, is looking all pissed off because you went to go have fun with other people who are fun. Like, yours was a fucking easy read, Taurus. I'll tell you what. It's like you realize trying to engage in battle with this person just... It doesn't do anything, then they go away, and then they need to recover. And then I get mad at you for having a good time. Like, you know, you're all irritated with what they're fucking doing and how they do shit, and it's like you want to come in. But it's like, then you're like, no, I'm just going to take off to where I know. You know? What's up with the Queen of Wands? Why is she so pissed off because you're out having fun? You're supposed to be commu- like- you're supposed to be communic- they want you to communicate, but... Bitches be petty. And they want to try again. <laughs> oh, Taurus, they want to communicate that they want something new with- They want something new with you. They, they want a new start with you. That's what they're communicating and they're upset because you, you'd rather go actually have a good time than battle this person all the fucking time. Like, that, like, that's their ultimate problem. Okay. Well, I guess that one card beginning thing does work. That's a new one for me. I just started doing this today, so I guess we'll go, go with it. Virgo, let's see what you're dealing with.
Also, temperance reverse can also talk about impatience. Um, not exactly being the entire moral compass either. Or the moral compass has been lost between groups or even two people at the least. Taurus, you got four of pentacles. You want to be secure. That's a given. You just don't know how to accomplish that. Let's say, just say Taurus or Virgo. Oh, and you're wasting time. You are hanging out, acting like a martyr, sacrificing yourself. Um, you want to be secure or make security for either a Cancer who is just volatile and, and like. Or you're looking to, like, want somebody something. Like, this is like. Not being able to move forward. Like you're stuck on past shit too when it comes to a coupling um it's like you can't get away no matter how hard you try oh there's your tower there's your realization two people are gonna fall out a window and then we're here someone just has regrets about what happened back in the day and yeah you just want to be on your own you're just like, I'm tired of taking care of people. I, I love people, but y'all are annoying as fuck, you know? Yeah, like, the lack of movement just makes you completely unhappy. Dude. Like, look at this. Like, you want to stay secure. Or you want to keep security. But it's like, there could be a cancer involved here who's, like, might be, like, starting fights, causing problems. Um, doesn't have to be a cancer. It could just be somebody or it could be you that's kind of, like, lashing out and acting out and and not doing anything to um, progress things. And then a tower moment comes where nothing is progressing. Like, everything's stalled. Um, someone's been being a martyr... This person, I think, either wants to give an apology or they're trying to get away from an apology. Like, they're happier by themselves. Like, it's like... Hmm. It's like someone's been playing a martyr for so long and it's like... And it's like, there needs to be an apology here, but it's not. It's actually not happening, and someone doesn't know what to do about this young coupling generation. It's just like, it makes somebody sad because the cups got knocked over, and now their unhappiness is completely gone. It's like, things went down the shitter. What's this tower? What caused someone to realize the tower? Grief. Essentially not getting over that grief. I literally just said that. Okay, whatever. Oh, wait. Oh, no. That's a warning. That's a warning. Okay, Virgo. The fuck? Whoever is in this tower... This is, this is telling me it's a warning that someone needs to communicate. Whoever's in this tower who's grieving because there wasn't any communication, they're being warned that they do need to communicate. Like, who, like this, it could be this person who needs the security right here, but they aren't, it's, it's like there aren't a sta it's like this person, it's like they need security, but they do everything that fucks that security up. Like, they keep fucking up their own shit. And it's like, they're gonna sit there regretting this and then thinking back, oh, I should have actually communicated. And then that's going to be the tower for them. It's like they figure out that they should have been the ones to do something or whatever because then it causes all sorts of shit to happen. Like, someone's been playing a martyr and, like, trying to get away from this shit because I guess there was an apology that needed to be made, but it wasn't, so the person's by themselves now. And this cat's grieving over it because now this 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 ten of pentacles right here where everyone's just getting along is no longer existent. It's dead. Virgo. 
Jesus Christ. Like, whoever you're with or dealing with, like, holy fuck. Like, I think you guys had something to do with the water sign last week or some shit, right? It was like a... It was like you felt like you can't... It was almost like you couldn't trust this person, but, like, you couldn't see it. But, but I can't remember now. Oh, well. Capricorns, it is time to, for us to shine. Okay, I'll stop now. <laughs> it's our turn. What's our shadow of judgment? Who are we separating from this week? Oh, we're getting a new beginning. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, and then there's temperance. Goddamn. Well, I was quickly disappointed, so okay, whatever. All right, let's see what's going on here. There's Temperance and there's an Ace of Cups. Someone wants to um, offer this cup so y'all can come together, um, but there's some recovery not happening or someone's not resting on this. Like, they can't let it go. It's like, I want you, Capricorn. Mm. Like, yeah, I did those bonus readings yesterday. It's like, someone wants you, Capricorn, and they're not going to leave you alone until you can. <laughs> not, oh, God damn it. It's an air sign. Okay. It could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It could be. Ooh. Ooh. Two deadly bitches just staring each other down. Or trying to look up each other's dresses. One of the two. I really don't know yet. Oh, Lord. Yeah, okay. Like, you're going to see through something. You are going to see something. I don't know what that is yet, though. Oh, God damn it. Okay, whatever. Alright, who's next? Oh my God, like, all but the Queen of Cups is here. It's like all bitches. All the bitches are here. Everybody who could be a bitch is on the board. Like, Queen of Cups is easily a bitch, but she's also crazy, too, so we'd ignore that. She don't count. But everybody who could potentially be a bitch is here. And I mean that shit, too. Oh, man. What the fuck? Okay, whatever. We're gonna just gonna look at this like adults instead of like just being like this is bullshit, you know? Why are why are we got all these bitches? <laughs> all right, Capricorns, right? There's a new beginning here for you. Maybe with an air sign, or that could be you being decisive on how you want to deal with possibly a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You're trying to decide, but it's like. This is supposed to be you down here, but I don't know if it's you. It's like, this could be an unfaithful spouse, an unbearable mother, someone who smothers you in your sleep, and then, like, when you finally gasp for air and wake up, they're just like, oh, my God, you stopped breathing. Are you okay? Like, you know, someone who demands a lot from you. And I feel like Capricorns is this is you. You're de you, like you're expecting, you know, like I need the seats. I need the details. You better give me what the fuck I'm asking for, right? Because she's being in a very demanding mode. But we got the Queen of Wands over here as well. Hmm. It's like, yeah, you like you're trying. You want a new offer? But I would not trust this bitch right here. Four of Swords. Someone can't recover from somebody giving a, something shitty to them. And they're fighting it off. And they're looking good while doing it, right? Meanwhile, here's this connection right here. But there's a bitter empress who's leaving it all behind. Despite the fact she still wants it. And then we got the Queen of Wands right here. And I feel like this is you more than anything, Capricorn. Where it's just like you're just watching them like, Bye! <laughs> I'll miss you, you know, like, go fuck yourself, have a nice life, you know, it's like, I'm not sure what to make of yours, Cap, because I feel like this, this is here because they pissed you off with whatever the fuck it was they gave you, very little, very childlike, very childish, you were expecting like an actual ace and they gave you a cup with a dead fish. 
being like, it's full, you just need to like grind them up in a fucking blender and you can drink them just fine. It's, it, it, it he's, or, or, he's organic. Like he was raised on a fish farm. <laughs> like it's all good and you're just like, what the hell? Like you're, you're looking at this person like, man, they are, aren't even a good page of pentacles. Like they're trying to come up with a page of cuffs scenario and it's looking like a page of pentacles shit. And it's just it pissed you off because it's like you know you deserve more. Maybe it's made you a little bit more demanding and bitter, but it's definitely set you up more like um, Queen of Wands over here. Yeah, this person. Like, this Empress bothers me a little bit. Like, in my Divine Counterparts reading, this is normally karmic. And, I, and, I, and I'm, getting this, I'm getting the feeling you're dealing with somebody like that, you know? Like, this person wants to come together, but they'd rather just keep giving you shit. You know? Actually, you know, what's with this Empress? Actually, no. What's with the Queen of Pentacles? Why is she pissed? We'll check the Empress after, because I'm spoiling. Because this is my son, and I want to know. Oh, so I'm done. Okay. She's, she, she's being like King of Pentacles, actually. She's being like, um, there's a debt to be paid. No justice! No peace. Shouting that shit from the fucking grounds and shit. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. No justice, no peace. What's with this empress? Because now I'm definitely curious. Because it's just like... Something ain't cool here. Oh, they're just moving to their own fucking problems. They're not even fucking touching yours. Like, they're too busy worried about booty calls to be worried about you. Like, the cup's behind this person. But they're more focused on, like, the failures of whatever booty calls or impulsive jumps to, like, action or battlements that they've been dealing with. Like, this is a person who, like, comes in and starts shit. You know, giving you shit, making it look like they're being oh so sweet, but in reality, you see that, you see that shit. You see when they're actually, like, you know, I don't know. It's like you, you can see what they're doing before they do. And this person has no idea. Like, they're completely fucking oblivious to what they're doing. Like, they, oh, wow, okay. That's why you're fighting it off. It's like you can't rest because this person keeps giving you the shit. And they don't see it. They don't understand that their impulsive actions is what's causing these cups to be knocked over in the first place. And they're leaving again. But, they're, but eventually they're going to come back. Like, this person does not know how to go away. I'm watching you, Capricorn. Okay, I'll stop being creepy now. Like, I, I don't even know if this is love right here. If not, like, abuse or something. I don't know. But, Earth Signs, that's your shadow of judgment this week. Thanks for watching my video to the very end. You can like, share, subscribe, and be a friend. Or you don't have to. It's up to you, really. No pressure. Um, if you want a personal reading, description box has all the information you need below right you guys take it easy love each and every one of you thanks for being here and i'll see you later bye, -bye.